All right, so I've been had a, a bit of a quiet week this week, so there's no kind of big update video, but um, I did think I'd cover the animation capture in a bit more in detail because someone sort of said to me in the comments that they didn't think the double crouch. So there's a animation where if you double crouch, um, theoretically, your heavy attack charges faster. And so I've been doing that, and a lot of people do. <clears throat> but I thought someone said they didn't think that actually was true, so I thought, you know what, I might just go and test it. Um, I also went through another animation counseling last week with the pen shot, which I'll show you shortly, which is supposed to speed up your attacks. Um, and so I also go through and test that. Um, so there's a bunch of tests that sort of leads to other tests, which leads to other tests and some interesting conclusions. But here we go. So the first theory is that if you double crouch, it charges your heavy attack faster. So that was the first thing I tested. I just charged till heavy and then I'd shoot the arrow and then I charged to, um, and then I did the crouch, double crouch and then shot that when it had charged to heavy and then I went through every frame to see when it, you know, started the animation, it ended the animation and then looked at how long it took for each shot to fire off. So for example, a normal light attack would be, there's the heavy and then you shoot it off and then I record it since it hits the dummy. And then the double crouch animation is obviously that, but with the double crouch. And yeah, so with the results from that, um, there was like no difference. Actually, if anything, the crouch took longer, but obviously there's going to be a little bit of error from me recording the frames and getting it right exactly. So I would say both crouch and no crouch took exactly one second um, to charge up a heavy attack. So I think we can rule out that crouch, the crouch animation speeds up heavy attacks. Okay, so the next one is the animation cancel with the uh, um, penetrating shot. And this is supposed to speed up the time it takes to get your attacks off. Okay, so this is how you do it. You charge up your light attack, then you'll put your finger on the penetrating shot, and then you'll fire the light attack and dodge, but you don't fire the penetrating shot, if that makes sense. And so then the distance, the time it takes to get three attacks off is supposed to be a lot faster than if you were to just dodge without doing the penetrating shot animation cancel. So this is what it looks like in normal speed. So you can see here that um, in terms of the amount of time it takes to get, so I didn't include any heavy attacks and the amount of time it took um, to get the rotation off to three light attacks was about 0.5 to 1 second faster when you use that animation cancel across the three attacks. So yeah, so by using the penetrating, anima penetrating animation cancel that does seem to get more attacks out faster. I then compared <laughs> to the animation cancelling the pin shot also with the double crouch in between at the start of each attack because the idea being that the double crouch should speed up a heavy attack, right? It should give you a heavy attack so it should do more damage if you do the double crouch animation cancel, if the double crouch does give you the heavy, versus if you just do the penetrating shot animation cancel without the double crouch. So just to show you what I mean, see I do the double crouch to start of the attack, then I do the penetrating shot animation cancel when I fire. So there's two sort of interesting things. The damage was slightly higher with the crouch, but the time it took to fire off the three attacks was quicker, definitely without doing the crouch. And so what I'm thinking is happening, even though I said no heavy, I made sure that the first attack wasn't a heavy, but I think the double crouch resulted in some heavy attacks being fired off because it's taking a little bit longer to do. You can see with no crouch and, and just the animation cancel, you fire through it so quickly that it's going to be all light attacks. With the double crouch, I think sometimes it slows it down a little bit, so sometimes you will fire up a heavy. And that's what I'm wondering if people thought the crouch was working, double crouch worked, because it's almost like a metronome, in that it's almost like the time it takes you to do the double crouch, by the time you've done that, a heavy attack will be ready to go and charged up. So I feel like it's not speeding up the heavy attack, but it's almost like the perfect timer. If you do a double crouch by the end of it, when you're ready to fire, it's gonna be a heavy attack. And so I think that's why you sort of saw more damage. 
So it sort of seemed like if you could weave in heavy attacks, or a couple of heavy attacks, or one heavy attack, that actually did increase your damage within that burst window ever so slightly. So that made me think, okay, so is it just... Is it better to just fire off three heavy attacks? So I did a rotation of three heavy attacks, but no animation cancelling, just straight up heavy attack. Once it's charged, fire it, dodge roll, fire it, dodge roll. Okay, now, as you can see, it did do more spurs damage, but it basically took, like, double the amount of time. So the actual amount of burst damage it did was a lot lower, a lot lower by what, like, guess would be, like, a third lower, roughly, than if you did, like, um, three light attacks with the animation cancelling. So it seems to me, and we'll do more testing on this, I just want to wrap this video up now because it's like a rabbit hole I'll never get out of if I don't end it here. But it seems to me, you don't need to double crouch, but you should start your attack off with a heavy and then do your two animation cancel light attacks. So it's the shortest window with a bit of burst. Thanks to everyone for watching. Um, hopefully we'll do more of these videos soon, friends. And I will see you all next week with an update on how the project is going.